Hey YouTube, it's your girl April Ray. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. As you can see, my hair needs some tender, loving care, so we're going to get started with trying some of these Camille Rose products. Starting off with the Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse Shampoo. It has castor and aniseed oil in it. This is a 12 ounce bottle. I picked it up from Sally's. It is a very creamy consistency, and I actually really like the smell. I also really like that it's infused with ginger. Ginger is a good conditioner for the hair. Um, it is useful remedy for dandruff, dry, itchy scalp. It's a natural anti-inflammatory and antiseptic, and it has antiseptic properties. It promotes hair growth. So I was very excited to be trying out this shampoo. It also lathers really, really well, and it is a very moisturizing shampoo. I really, really enjoyed this shampoo. Following up the shampoo with the Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard, it's infused with Moroccan pear and cherry kernel oil. It's a very moisturizing conditioner. I was very excited about it because it's rich in antioxidants, vitamins A, B, C, D, and K, omega-6 and omega-9. So very rich in uh, the vitamins and the antioxidants that your hair needs um, to keep it strong. So it also has a lot of slip. This conditioner had a lot of slip and it smelled good. And I was very, very pleased with um, how my hair absorbed the conditioner in. I did not go under the dryer with this conditioner, which I wish I did, but I kept it in for about 20 minutes um, to make sure that it really penetrated into my hair. Okay guys, so next I picked up the Honey Hydrate uh, leave-in conditioner from the leave-in collection. There's a trio, but I felt that this probably would have been uh, the more moisturizing of the three. And as I was applying it to my hair, well, as you can tell, it looks like pure honey just pulling out to your hand. But this literally set on my hair. It did not penetrate through. It was a little sticky, and I did not <laughs> like this leave-in conditioner. So needless to say, it'll likely be going back to the store. So I picked up this Curl Love Moisture Milk and because I didn't like the leave-in conditioner, I just applied this uh, moisture milk to my hair as a leave-in conditioner before I blow dry my hair. And it has rice milk and macadamia oil and the rice milk is what caught my eye to this stuff. But when I applied it to my hair, it was so like moisturizing. My hair just instantly just felt so soft, so hydrated, so moisturized. So yeah, I think this is my new favorite go-to moisturizer and I may just do a separate video on this stuff. My style today is a flat twist out and I use this aloe wick butter gel. Y'all, I totally forgot about this butter gel that I had stored up in my stash of products. Um, I have a separate video on it but I may have to do an update video on it because this butter gel literally um, yeah it, it, it is serious I can go days without applying extra product because of this butter gel so as you can see I'm just flat twisting my hair I'm literally just applying the butter gel and a little bit of oil and flat twisting my hair down and uh, you'll see my flat twist here in a second and then you'll see the finished results Alright guys, so here it is. This is my hair unfluffed. I literally just took out the flat twist and I'm getting some killer definition from that butter gel. My hair feels extremely moisturized, extremely soft uh, from the, the Curl Love Moisture Milk and the butter gel and the oil. I mean, Camille Rose products, I am very pleased at this point with how my hair turned out. Um, I was actually headed to a concert. Uh, later that evening so I was uh, you know crossing my fingers the whole time that my hair would take well to these products but yeah it did very well I'm just fluffing a little bit and making sure that I get some volume and yeah I really 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 liked how my hair turned out uh, leave a comment in the comment section below to let me know if you use any of these Camille Rose natural products that I've tried 
like I said that honey uh, hydrate leave-in conditioner was not my favorite at all so yeah that probably will be going back but I may be trying the other two leave-ins from the leave-in collection of the uh, trio section so yeah so like this video subscribe to my channel leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram April Ray TV and I'll talk to you guys in my next video until next time YouTube bye all right so I wanted to show y'all what my hair looked like this is day two I did not retwist my hair last night and I'm just coming in from being out but anyways uh, woke up and y'all I still got like some good definition with these twists and I am like very pleased about it <laughs> it's still really I mean it's really soft and fluffy and day two y'all all right Camille Rose I am feeling you yeah so I just wanted to come on here and show y'all my hair on day two without just putting a bonnet on, going to sleep, waking up, and just fluffing with my hands. I didn't even use a pick. Just use my hands fluffed and left. So, 